The 2011 season didn't end the way VCU soccer had envisioned. That disappointment has been a driving force behind the spring season. You know, just very disappointed in the way it went. And so one of the biggest carryovers I think for us that into the spring um, was trying to figure out what, what needs to improve. You know, what needs to improve the areas where we're deficient, the areas where we're strong, how can we make those areas stronger. And so we really tried to come into the spring trying to get better at the things that we do well already. Um, you know, at the same time, addressing the things that need growth and, and trying to continue to grow there. Uh, and I think we had positive gains on both ends. You know, I knew kind of coming into the beginning of this process that this spring, the spring of 2012, when we had, you know, two full recruiting classes, guys that had been here, guys that had been through the, through the battles a bit, we're going to have more competition, we're going to have more good players. Um, it's going to really be a spring we're able to make a good little jump, and I think we have. The growth process has become more evident this spring, with the team showing a collective improvement. Uh, I'm not sure that there's a player who hasn't grown uh, significantly over the course of the spring, and that's, you know, that's what we're doing here. We're trying to get better every day. We're always trying to push the envelope to improve ourselves individually and, and therefore as a group, and, and I think we did that. With the success of the spring season, it has left the Rams with an eagerness for the fall. Yeah, I mean, the guys were, were really, really chomping at the bit, looking forward to getting back out there. You know, first thing we did at the beginning of the spring was we sat down and, and you know, our staff put together some clips from the fall of the goods and the bads and, and the, the ugly. Uh, and, you know, just really, in, in a snapshot, reemphasize the things that happened. And, and the guys, I think, just really couldn't wait to get back out and, and you know, improve on, on where we were. Uh, and, and like I said, I think we have. I think we've, we've grown quite a bit. You know, certainly at this point uh, where we finished this weekend, uh, this is the furthest along by far that we've been, as it ought to be. Um, but I think we're, you know, the guys are very hungry as well for, the, for August. <clears throat> I think if you'd ask, you know, the guys across the board, and I'm sure teams around the country are the same way, uh, they'd like to take a week here and then start the season. Uh, and, and so, you know, unfortunately it doesn't work like that. And so, we, like I said, we have some other plans in place. Everybody has the things that they need to, to work on and, and uh, things they need to accomplish this summer in order to help the team, you know, come August. Along with a core group of returners, VCU will anticipate good production from some talented newcomers. We'll be announcing in the next week or two a, uh, another group of recruits. This will be a little smaller group, you know, maybe seven guys, six guys, um, but, you know, a quality group, a quality group and people that I think fill, you know, fill some, some needs in the, uh, in the program, whether it's immediate need or, or need down the road. Um, you know, I think all the guys coming in are, are ones that we really are looking forward to and, 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 you know, think can really contribute long term here at VCU. After two full seasons on the job, Coach Gifford is positive that coming to VCU was the right decision and that the prospect for success for the Rams is very bright. Two and a half or two years ago, um, I wasn't 100 percent sure what to expect. Uh, and we were greeted, you know, our players, our staff, myself, my family, we're greeted with such hospitality, and, and uh, it's a wonderful place to work. It's a great place to live. Um, there's a great group of young men who were here already, and uh, you know, then we added some more guys to the mix, and, and it's been, a, you know, it's been a, a, a very challenging and exciting two years. We're in a position to, to really, really be in the mix this fall. Uh, you know, maybe even at the very end. Uh, but that's a, long, that's a long way off. There's a lot of things that have to happen in the meantime. Um, and consistency and, and day in and day out performance will be the key for us.